Get ready for breached NPM packages, million token GPUs, AI that admits I don't know, and the hottest sessions at GitHub Universe. All that and more on this episode of The Download. Welcome back to another episode of The Download, the show where we cover the latest developer news and open source projects. I'm your host, Kadesha Kerr, developer advocate here at GitHub. Let's get into it. First up, in a plot twist worthy of a cyber thriller, several major NPM packages, Chalk, Debug, Anti Regex, and more, fell victim to a supply chain attack after a maintainer was tricked by a phishing email. The attacker, impersonating NPM support, swiped credentials and published malware-laden versions of 20-plus widely used packages collectively downloaded more than 2 billion times a week. The malicious code targeted end-users with connected crypto wallets, slyly swiping wallet addresses to siphon off funds. The attack didn't stop there. Another high-profile maintainer was also compromised, leading to even more infected packages. The lesson? Even seasoned devs can get caught out by crafty phishing. Stay vigilant, double check those emails, and for goodness sake, lock down your dependencies like they're the last donut at Demos and Donuts. Feeling social? VS Code Dev Days are coming to a city or time zone near you this September and October. These global events are all about exploring the future of AI-assisted coding with Visual Studio Code and GitHub Copilot. You'll find hands-on workshops, Microsoft speakers, and plenty of peers to swap tips and memes with. Don't forget to check the interactive map. After all, it's not every day you can say, I learned AI in Seoul before breakfast. The GitHub MCP server has officially leveled up. It's now generally available with OAuth 2.1 plus Pixie support, meaning you can authenticate securely across all the major IDEs. No more juggling personal access tokens like hot potatoes. Premium tools have landed too, including the Copilot coding agent for autonomous PRs, expanded secret scanning now free for public repos, and integrated code scanning alerts. Plus, workflow improvements abound for issues, PRs, gist, and more. The upside? Less context switching, more time coding, and even fewer excuses for not catching that security flaw before lunch. Meet Embedding Gemma. Built on Gemma 3 architecture, it's designed for on-device, offline use with customizable output dimensions and lightning-fast performance. Embedding Gemma brings big brain embeddings to the smallest devices. And yes, it plays nicely with all your favorite AI tools, even the ones you claim you'll learn next weekend. If you've ever gotten a confidently wrong answer from a chatbot, you've met the infamous hallucination. OpenAI's latest paper digs into why this happens. It's not just a bug, but a side effect of how models are trained and evaluated. Current accuracy-based benchmarks actually encourage models to guess instead of admitting uncertainty, like a student who always fills in C when stumped. The fix? Penalize wrong answers more than honest I don't know responses and reward models for humility. Until then, even the smartest AI might still invent your cat's birthday. Start your countdown clocks. GitHub Universe 2025 lands in San Francisco on October 28 to 29, and the full session catalog is out now. With 100 plus sessions on AI, security, open source, and more, plus hands-on experiential spaces, it's a developer's paradise. Early bird pricing ends September 17, but if you're more of a couch coder, virtual attendance is free. Plan your schedule, book some career coaching, and prepare to rub elbows, virtual or literal, with the future of software. Hold on to your GPUs. NVIDIA just unveiled Ruben CPX, a new class of CUDA GPUs purpose-built for massive context AI. Think million token code bases, generative video, and enough memory bandwidth to make your old server jealous. With up to 30 petaflops of compute and 128 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory, Ruben CPX is set to turbocharge everything from software engineering agents to cinematic AI video tools. Availability is slated for end of 2026, so you've got plenty of time to update your Christmas wishlist. 
Finally, for all you ML experimenters, there's a new tracking sheriff in town, Trackio. This open source Python library is a drop-in replacement for WANDB, offering a local dashboard and easy hugging face spaces integration for sharing and collaboration. Track those GPU metrics and share your training curves with the world or just your lab mates. And that's it for this week's whirlwind tour of developer news. Until next time, may your bill stay green, your emails stay fish free, and your donuts, well, you know the drill.